Goldsmith ME262, nicknamed Swallow in fighter versions, or Stormbird in fighter bomber versions, was the world's first operational jet-powered fighter aircraft. Design work started before World War II began, but problems with engines, metallurgy and top-level interference kept the aircraft from operational status with the Luftwaffe until mid-1944. The ME262 was faster and more heavily armed than any Allied fighter, including the British jet-powered Gloucester Meteor. One of the most advanced aviation designs in operational use during World War II, the ME-262's roles included light bomber, reconnaissance and experimental night fighter versions. ME-262 pilots claimed a total of 542 Allied aircraft shot down, although higher claims are sometimes made. The Allies countered its effectiveness in the air by attacking the aircraft on the ground and during takeoff and landing. Strategic materials, shortages and design compromises on the Junkers Jumo 004 axial flow turbojet engines led to reliability problems. Attacks by Allied forces on fuel supplies during the deteriorating late war situation also reduced the effectiveness of the aircraft as a fighting force. Armament production within Germany was focused on more easily manufactured aircraft. In the end, the ME262 had a negligible impact on the course of the war as a result of its late introduction and the consequently small numbers put in operational service. While German use of the aircraft ended with the close of World War II, a small number were operated by the Czechoslovak Air Force until 1951. Several years before World War II, the Germans foresaw the great potential for aircraft that used the jet engine constructed by Hans Joachim Pabst von Oheim in 1936. After successful test flights of the world's first jet aircraft, the Heinkel HE-178, within a week of the invasion of Poland to start the war, they adopted the jet engine for an advanced fighter aircraft. As a res result, the ME-262 was already under development as Project 1065 before the start of World War II. The project originated with a request by the Reichsluft Ministerium, RLM Ministry of Aviation, for a jet aircraft capable of one hour's endurance and a speed of at least 850 kilometers per hour, 530 miles an hour. Waldemar Voigt headed the design team with Messerschmitt's Chief of Development, Robert Lusser. Plans were first drawn up in April 1939, and the original design was very different from the aircraft that eventually entered service with the wing root mounted engines, rather than podded ones. When submitted in June 1939, the progression of the original design was delayed greatly by technical issues involving the new jet engine. Because the engines were slow to arrive, Messerschmitt moved the engines from the wing roots to the underwing pods, allowing them to be changed more readily if needed. This would turn out to be important, both for availability and maintenance, since the BMW 003 jets proved heavier than anticipated, the wing was swept slightly by 18.5 degrees to accommodate a change in the centre of gravity. Funding for the jet engine programme was also initially lacking as many high-ranking officials 
thought the war could easily be won with conventional aircraft. Among those were Hermann Göring, head of the Luftwaffe, who cut the engine development program to just 35 engineers in February 1940. The month before the first wood, wooden mock-up was completed. Willie Measuresmith, who desired to maintain mass production of the piston-powered 1935 Origin BF-109 and the projected ME-209, a Major General Adolf Galland, who had initially supported Measuresmith through the early de development years, flying the MT ME-262 himself on the 22nd of April 1943. By that time's problem with the engine development had slowed production of the aircraft considerably. One particularly acute problem arose with the lack of an alloy with a melting point high enough to endure the high temperatures involved. A problem that by the end of the war had not been adequately resolved. The aircraft made its first successful flight entirely on jet power on the 18th of July 1942. Powered by a pair of Jumo 004 engines after a November 1941 flight with BMW 003s ended in a double flame out. On a personal note, uh, I left school at 16 in 1980. And I gained an apprenticeship with Rolls-Royce Aero Engine Division. After a year of broad-based training, um, I became a apprentice fitter, which took me to the fabrication section. On my arrival in 1981, cannular combustion chambers, which were not the same as, but the same type, that were used in the Jumo engines on the ME262 were still being made at Rolls-Royce. Uh, most modern jet engines now have what are called annular combustion chambers, but the original jet engines were cannular, which were a series of cans around the outside rather than a central can on the inside. These cannular combustion chambers were rounded up by hand with uh, men who used a sand dolly and a mallet to two thousandths of an inch parallel. One guy had been doing that job for since the end of the war, um, since 1944. Um, those skills are not there now. Um, it's quite something. They would, they would tap in certain places and the combustion chamber would become perfectly round. Uh, unbelievable. Thank you for listening. Uh, thank you for watching. Okay, bye.